What's up YouTube, it's Loka here and in today's video, we are back with another infinite RP method. Now for this week and this week only, Gerald missions are currently quadruple RP and double money. So you guys will be making tons of money as well as leveling up as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Now if you guys end up enjoying today's video and I was able to help you guys out when it comes to leveling up, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. So once again, thank you guys all so much for subscribing and enjoying today's content as well as all my previous content. Now what you guys wanna go ahead and do is press pause, go to online, jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, and you guys wanna go all the way down to missions and you guys wanna look for this mission in particular. You guys wanna look for the mission, last play, making ends meet. Once you guys find this mission right here, it should be called last play, make ends meet. It's going to be quadruple RP, so you guys want to just simply go ahead and start up the mission. Now, once the mission starts up, all you guys want to simply do is just change the difficulty to hard difficulty. That way, you guys will be making as much RP as possible. And from there, you guys want to just simply start up the mission. Now, once the mission starts, all you guys want to simply do is first things first, call up one of your personal vehicles. I would say choose a vehicle that has rockets on it, so it can be anything like a Toreador, a Vigilante, or even your Oppressor. Once you guys get that vehicle, make your way over to the Raven Slaughterhouse. Once you guys have made it to the Slaughterhouse, simply just kill the enemies right outside of each entrance as I'm doing right here. Now once you guys take out all the enemies that are outside of the Slaughterhouse, you guys want to simply just go inside and eliminate all of the enemies that are inside. You guys want to make sure to kill every single one of them because each of them will be giving you 100 RP instead of the regular 25 RP since it is quadruple RP. Once you guys make it to the safe, you guys want to simply just go ahead and crack the safe. At first it was a little confusing, but all you guys want to simply do is just follow as it shows you on the very top left for the instructions. Once the safe actually starts shaking, start to slow down until you reach the proper number. And then from there, just go counterclockwise and then go clockwise again. Now, once you guys end up cracking the safe, what you guys want to do is just steal the formula. Once you steal the formula, go ahead and kill all the enemies that are still inside the slaughterhouse. And from here, it's going to tell you to go ahead and eliminate the boss. What you guys want to do is make sure to follow each step that I'm going to be showing you guys exactly as shown. Otherwise, you guys will not be making as much RP as you guys should be making when doing this mission. Now, from here on out, all you guys want to simply do is just simply kill all the enemies inside the slaughterhouse. Make sure not to leave a single one alive. You guys want to get as much RP as possible. And then once you guys make it to the very exit, as you guys can see, the boss will be driving away, leaving the area. Now, once the boss leaves the area, all you guys want to simply do is make sure to return your personal vehicle. Once you return your personal vehicle, you guys want to spawn in your personal aircraft. This can be any aircraft, but in particular, you guys want to be going for one that has the infinite missiles. So I'll be using the Savage Helicopter since that one has the infinite missiles compared to something like the Akula. Now, once you guys make your way over to your personal aircraft, it can be the Savage Helicopter or it can be any aircraft that you're choosing. You guys are going to start seeing a bunch of red circles on the map. These are actually going to be enemy vehicles that you guys have to destroy. Every time you destroy these vehicles, you guys will be giving 100 RP per destruction of each vehicle. So whenever you see these vehicles on the map, you guys want to simply just go ahead and destroy them to gain as much RP as possible. Now, a good location that you guys can go to to actually go ahead and farm this is actually exactly where I am. If you guys are on a helicopter, you guys can just simply hover right exactly where I'm at and you guys will continue to receive RP because the enemy vehicles will just keep spawning right in front of you. So all you want to do is just land your, your helicopter as I'm doing right here. And while landing your helicopter or even hovering it, you guys can just go ahead and just spam your rockets and just keep killing the enemies until you no longer receive RP for each kill. You guys can be doing this for about 5 to 10 minutes because that's how long it usually takes before Rockstar decides to no longer reward you with RP for destroying enemy vehicles. Now after the 5 to 10 minutes are up, you guys will no longer be receiving RP for destroying these vehicles. Now once this happens, all you guys want to simply do is just make your way over to the game boss. And once you make your way over to where he's located, all you guys want to do is just take him out. Once you guys take him out, you guys just have to fly back to Gerald's apartment. And by flying right over the actual marker, you guys actually could end up completing the mission just like that. You guys do not have to land your helicopter or your personal aircraft. All you guys have to do is just simply hover over it. 
Now this part right here is very important. If you actually ended up killing all the enemies inside the slaughterhouse as well as all the enemy vehicles until you no longer received RP, that should be taking you guys about 10 to 15 minutes. Once you reach the 10 minute mark, you guys will actually be making over 11,000 RP for completing the mission. So you guys want to stay in this mission for at least 10 minutes and then from there you guys want to go ahead and complete it. This way you'll be making as much RP as possible by doing this mission. Now as you guys just saw, I practically just made 14,000 RP by just completing the mission. Now keep in mind, that does not include the actual kill RP that I got for killing all the enemies. So on top of the actual RP for that, I would say about 15,000. So that 15,000 plus 14,000, that's about 29,000 RP just by completing one mission in GT Online, which takes about 10 minutes of work. If you guys are low level on GT Online, you guys need to be taking advantage of this quadruple RP happening right now this week in GT Online. But anyways, locals, that does it for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Once again, if I was able to help you guys, just make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're very close to hitting 1,000 subscribers. So I'm thanking all of you for actually subscribing and watching my videos. But that does it for now. I'll see you soon, locals. Bye.